Fit like, welcome back for another episode. I'm Stuart Thorburn and you're watching SMT Motorsport. So maybe you've seen in the background, we have suspension problems. <clears throat> um, so I am running Ether A Springs. I think I said this on comment or I've videoed this before, but anyway, that's an E40 six BC spring on the right and that's an E30 BC spring on the left. So <clears throat> I'm running the car pretty low. Um, so the problem I've got is <clears throat> I'm towing in slightly, but not much. But the problem is, oh man, I need a light. So the problem is, let's see if we can balance that. The problem is <clears throat> when we're on uh, full suspension load, uh, my kind of bump stop, I've cut the bump stop down, but once the bump stop's cut, I've probably got about that much travel. Um, so I just want a bit more and the way I'm thinking is to cut down the Cut down this a little bit and take take a good bit off and then re-weld it onto this because this all loosens off So I'm not gonna damage the strut with heat or anything from the TIG So yeah, that's the plan for getting a bit more suspension and obviously then when I jack the car up uh, then the droop won't be so far down and then the BC spring won't fall out so easy. So yeah, and the other thing I'm doing as well is I've made up new tool plates. Um, so, well, Callum's, me and Callum have been working together, Callum Hayes Fabrication, to uh, adapt this. I know you can buy these online that are already done, but we're going for a little bit more adjustment uh, that I've noticed. So yeah, we should have plates today, hopefully. So first of all, let's have a look at this shock, get this shock off and see if we can shorten it. Okay, so let's take this off. What could take a while. So these are BCBRs. I've got front and rear. I think they're quite good, like I haven't had any issues with them. Just modifying them slightly. Um, I think I've had these for a good year and a half now, and you know it's not a daily, but I've cleaned them once. Uh, that's about it. So they don't really rust like you know as badly as I've seen other coilovers. They still rust because they're mild steel, but you know the anodizing or whatever they use on it is quite good. Quite rate BCs. I never really knew about BC racing until I got into the drifting scene because rallying it's not really a thing. Um, most people go for Bilsteins and Proflex and Avos and Gas. never really go BCs but I totally would if I went back to rallying. Definitely use BCs. Okay. That's what I've got there. BMW 98206 E46 BRs. But I'm going to modify them. Now this bush, I don't think I can get that out, so I don't want to go too close to that. So let's say, so it's 65 mil there from the top of here to just that join there because I don't want to cut it any lower. Uh, so let's say if we come up about 25 mil, that's about there. Should I find the end of this first, should I? Right, 25 mil will come up. Chop a good 40 or something off, 30. Yeah. 25 is about there. Or maybe we just go the width of the tape. Right. How much are we chopping off there? We're going to chop off about 35 millish. I was just having second thoughts of cutting this or not, but oh fuck it, they're a year and a half old, let's just cut them.
So that was actually interesting. This is not steel, it's actually alloy. Uh, I should have knew that for by the weight of it because it's pretty light. But anyway, still take it, nothing wrong with that. But I've left a little bit of a gap there. Um, and then we'll fill that. Or maybe I should get that a bit tighter. And then uh, I'll open up the edges so I can do a couple passes around it. I think I'll do something like that. Yeah. Okay, so before welding, I've just uh, pressed out this bush. It's just quite easy, so yeah, save that. Right, I just had my phone on charge because it was taking ages. I made so many mistakes. I didn't have it hot enough and everything, but I've got it tacked there, and yeah, the, the, the sticker's totally melted. So I'm glad I took the bushing out because, yeah. I think it's because this, well, both of them are quite thick, but I've never welded anything quite that thick in alloy, so. Oh, where's Callum when you need a fuck lockdown? So that's how much I'm going to chop off. Uh, and then I'm gonna give it to Callum to weld because I don't feel confident welding alloy, especially that thick. There we go, that's uh, us being to Callum Hayes Fabrication. Um, he had his hertz turned up a lot more, like I couldn't go up any more in my hertz and his amps were a lot more than mine. So he said it was quite dirty, the alloy, but uh, like, a, I don't know, like a porous -y type thing. So you can see it's much better, like the welds are so much better. I'll show you in a minute. But uh, yeah, I don't think my welder could have done that or made it look any good, but yeah, Callum's made it look perfect again. So yeah, let's get home and get it fit. Okay, so that's us back from Callum's and I've got them painted, so yeah, you can see the welds. Nice welds. Um, and this is how much we've chopped off, so it's a good bit. And I could actually measure it for you. <coughs> Mind the mess. So we're looking roughly 50, 53, 53 mil we've chopped off, so yeah, it should give us a good bit more movement, hopefully. Got these ready to go, I've had them all uh, WD'd up, cleaned and WD'd the threads, so good to go as soon as these dry properly. For, for this job, like, you know, I was saying in the car about that alloy, um, I'm just really fortunate that Callum's like 10 minutes down the road to me. <clears throat> so yeah, if you're in the northeast of Scotland and you need welding done, Callum is your man. I don't know anybody else who's as good as that guy, so yeah. Big up to Callum. Uh, I'll leave his, uh, I'll leave the link for his uh, Facebook below. It's probably the best way to contact him is through his Facebook uh, business page. So yeah, let's get these on the car. Well, well, there they are. That's it on. Bush has been pressed back in. Just use the press at the bottom of the garage. It's just like a 20 ton thing, but doesn't need much for it. Probably be able to do it with a vice, to be honest. Um, so yeah, let's fire them on and should have a bit more travel. Okay, so the shock's back on, but um, I want to be able to play with the toe a lot more because if you own an E46 or an E36, that trailing arm underneath, you can't really adjust it that much, especially once you put a lot of power in like this and you want to start towing it in more. Um, and also if you start lowering it as well, like I've noticed since I've slammed mine quite a lot, it's starting to tow in. Uh, and, I'd, and I don't want it to tow in just now because I don't want to dial in that grip when I've got West Lakes. I want it to be parallel. So yeah, we're playing with some uh, plates just now. Oh, I can't take that one out because it's holding the wheel up. but. But yeah, um, me and Callum have been playing around with this design for a long, long time now. So we've came up with something that we're going to get maximum tow in and tow out uh, inside of that pocket. Um, so yeah, if you want some of these, come and check me out on Facebook or Instagram and just give me a message. Uh